happens when you're engaged to a cultural icon who is 60 years older than you? Well, if you're my next guest, you leave him five days before the wedding. <laughs> Of course, it could have been worse. She could have left him at the park feeding ducks. <laughs> Let's welcome the woman who said, I don't, to Hugh Hefner, Crystal Harris. <laughs> Hello, my dear. Hi. Good to see you again. I saw you this morning. Yes. We went over a few things. Yeah. You kept the ring. I have the ring still. Because, because Hef, what? He didn't want it back? He, he didn't want it back. He said I could keep it. Um, I still have it. I don't know what to do with it. Maybe make it into a necklace or something. Yeah. How many carats is it? Uh, three and a half. Oh, my dear. <laughs> That's worth a lot of money. Are you sure it's real? <gasps> you need to get that appraised, Crystal. <laughs> and and how, let me ask you another question. Did you have a prenup? Of course you did. Yeah, there was a prenup. How much were you going to get in the prenup? Um, I would end up making more money if I would have stayed and gone through with the wedding. But so. because you didn't, you got cut out of everything except the ring? Y yeah. What else did you but get? I'm to fine with that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fine with that. I'm, being there made me realize that money isn't That's right. the most important thing in life. Freedom's so. just another word to keep the ring. <laughs> um, <laughs> but, but wait a second. How about um, the Bentley that you were talking about this morning? You were talking about you, that you had a Bentley. He gave you a Bentley. Yes. But um, you said you paid for half of it. I paid for half. And Where did you get the money to pay for half of a Bentley? A Bentley costs two hundred thousand dollars. <laughs> Just um, working, Playboy stuff. Um, we did a season of The Girls Next Door. Oh, so That's you amazing. saved it up and bought a Bentley. Yeah, allowance from half. <laughs> did he give you an allowance? <laughs> yeah, he did. He likes you though. He wanted to marry you. Yeah. But why didn't you want to marry him at the at the, the end of the day? Um, I mean, it's obvious to me, but you tell me why. I mean, I... <laughs> <laughs> Not for nothing. He's 60 years older than you. Yeah. I mean, I mean what were you thinking? I mean, I, I love half. I care about him. I still care about him. And, um, I mean, at the end of the day, it wasn't the right thing to do. I was caught up in it. And, you know, there's women around. It was just... It didn't make sense to have more than one girlfriend, but then get married to one of them. It didn't make sense. Well, it, was that was that his plan to have all these girlfriends and be married to you at the same time? I think so. How much Viagra can one man ingest? <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever like think about I'm going to hide his little pills? Did you ever think of that? <laughs> Replace them with sugar pills? Just yeah. kidding. No. no. Yeah. <laughs> And just show him some aversion therapy from movies, you know? Show him Nazi films or something so he wouldn't come near you. Well, so what is it with Hef? You know the guy. What is it with him that he can't have a woman around his own age? Why can't he be with a woman who's not 85, maybe 75? I'm not sure. I what mean, I, I asked him the same thing, and he said that he's always loved women in, his, in their 20s. And he, always, he only changed. loves women in their 20s. But it's like a dog chasing a car. <laughs> he's never going to catch it. <laughs> I like the guy. He's a very, you know, Hayef is a big pioneer in the, in the sex industry. Oh, yeah. I mean, he really opened people's minds about sexuality. You have to understand, in my day, when I was your age, people did not talk about sex the way they do, any, the way they do nowadays. Yeah. And he gave us that. He helped make it okay. He yeah. really did. No matter how much Metamucil he's on. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> now let's talk about the sixth season of Girls Next Door, which has been released on DVD, yes. and that's, you're here promoting that now. But you're no longer no longer living in the mansion. So are you cut out of the of season seven? <laughs> I think it was a six part series. I don't. I think the Girls Next Door is no more. But I'm not. I'm not exactly sure. But it was fun while it lasted. So what's your next time. move? What what goals do you have? Um, day by day. I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea. Um, I just, I had a small part in a movie recently and um, just seeing what happens. There was a woman we had on, I think she was the Playmate of the Year. She was on here and she didn't have very nice things to say about you. Do you know who she is? Yeah, I know who she is and she's, she's never had nice she things to say. She was a little nasty-ish against you. Yeah, and um, I've never had a, a bad word to say about her, nor will I ever, so. Keep it like that. <laughs> You're better off. Yeah. But before I go, I just, did you ever have se actual sex with Hefner? Because yeah. I know Sherry, uh, let me <laughs> sure. ask you this before, but I'm different. I aren't it. You actually did. Oh, yeah, girl, sex. <laughs> yeah. I mean, people out there want to know, did you actually sleep with him? And he's 85 and you're 25. Uh, when I first got there. You did? Yeah. And what, what was it like? <laughs> Getting rough? It's the same. Every, I don't know. Everything works the same. I don't know. <laughs> okay.